What's up, y'all? It's your girl Angel. Welcome back to my channel, Perfect Angel, where we are Christian in the period. Welcome to another vlog. It's currently Sunday, January 14th. Um, I literally just ended my last vlog. I just got back from Dallas. I think I want to just kind of tidy up a little bit. I really cleaned up before I left so that I could come home to a clean house, but it's just some of Amir's stuff is over there. Um, I'm just get together really and actually start editing that last vlog last week's vlog so i just want to start this one out i'm back with my baby i missed him that was our first time being away from each other overnight and i don't like that <laughs> i don't like that at all my mom had facetimed me well she was constantly facetiming me but the very first facetime while i was in dallas i had to hang up because i was gonna start crying I was gonna start crying. Oh my God, I miss my baby. And as soon as I got him from my mom's, he went to sleep. <laughs> I was like, no, stay up. But I'm tired. So yeah, y'all, I think I'm actually about to film. I really wanna wait until I do my accent wall. I'm gonna have Trey put this on. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have Trey put some rental friendly um it's like a concrete stone type of wallpaper on this wall so i can have an accent wall and then that's where i'm gonna um like set it up real cute to do my sit down video so i might wait till he do that i might actually go ahead and order it from amazon so he can do it because he comes home this week so he can go ahead and do that because baby i need to make a sit down video and the topic is going to be boundaries and standing firm on boundaries and this is with anybody it's like with partners family friends everybody it's like because i've really been struggling with that lately like just i can create the boundary and i also can express to communicate the boundary with whoever it is but it's just like when they don't respect that boundary i'm so passive sometimes that i kind of just let it slide and that's what i have to work on like I have to work on not being so passive and you know in that area and as well we gotta talk about how like I'm really this is kind of like with my family um I feel like it's especially well I can't speak for other communities like the white or Mexican whatever Asian communities but I've just noticed like black families they struggle with respecting boundaries and understanding the concept of boundaries so yeah, we need to talk about it. We're gonna have a girl talk because it's just like, I've really been dealing with that lately with um, some family members and stuff like that. So we're gonna talk about it, baby. We're gonna talk about it because it's so annoying. It's so frustrating. Like it really, it literally like flusters me and overwhelms me sometimes. Like <sighs> the fucking boundary is pointless because I'm still being overwhelmed because people don't respect the boundary. So, I, like, I'm like at the point where I have to take it into my own measures and now y'all are gonna force me to be mean or it's gonna come off as mean or rude when really we can avoid me being mean or rude if you just respect my boundary, you know? Like, it's not that hard. But yeah, so. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this vlog and just cuddle up with my baby. It's cold, it's like freaking two degrees here. Let's see, oh, it's. 24 degrees here in Temple. That is not normal for Texas, so we're cold. <laughs> we're cold. Yeah. I'll probably see y'all later. Not later then. I'll see y'all probably tomorrow. Um. Oh, another thing I need to sit down and do is start. I want to start planning out my videos more so it can flow a little bit better. And I also need to plan out my daily schedule because I, starting tomorrow, I will be going to the gym. I mean, unless it like freezes and gets real bad, then I won't. Um, but I am gonna start going to the gym at least three times a week. So I want to do that. Um, I'm incorporating no sweets, no soda, no tea starting tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna start going to the gym and then I'm gonna cut out those three things such as name. So yeah, see you going to sleep. Get my baby. I miss my baby. So yeah. I'll talk to y'all or see y'all later. Hey y'all, it's the next day, it's Monday. I'm at work, 
they on some BS today. I'm not in a really good mood, so yeah, I probably shouldn't even turn on the camera, but just I want I really wanted to show y'all outside. It's icy. It's like it's pretty pretty. I seen Dallas got like snow snow. We just got like a bunch of ice and stuff. So I'm just show y'all. a mood today i mean it's like i know why it's not just one thing it's just like an accumulation of different things that's just i'm just dealing with i don't know I'm just, I'm just trying to get frustrated with a bunch of stuff i'm just i'm just getting tired of just trying to really prove myself like prove my work to people and stuff like that like and being underappreciated for like all the things that i do for people and it's like they just really take it for granted and like like i was telling my friends during girls nights like i didn't got like I've never been like a non I've always been a non-confrontational person, but I've gotten so lenient and like passive and just like, because I just be like, whatever, like nonchalant by a lot of stuff. And I always, like, I never want to let anybody see me spit or make it seem like what their, their actions are bothering me. But, and I try to convince myself that Whatever it is, is not bothering me. But at the end of the day, it do be bothering me. I just, like, suppress my feelings and emotions and stuff. And whatever, keep it pushing. But it's like, I don't want to be like that anymore. Like, I just, I want to be able to, like, express how I feel to people. And them not, like, be so dismissive. Which I understand. I can't control how people react and... Uh, receive things but I can control who I allow in my life and it's like I really just reevaluated like certain people in my life and it's like people that's close to me and it's just like it's a hard decision but it's like at the end of the day I gotta do what's best for me because I gotta make sure that I'm good so that I can be the best mom you know and it's just like it's a decision that I've been contemplating on oh, making but i've just kind of been prolonging it but it's like i'm at the point where it's like i just gotta make the decision i just gotta do it just i just gotta do it and you know rip the band-aid off and just fucking do it like this is multiple people in my life people that i'm close to people that i've had you know bonds with but it's like, bro. People, like, you have to be stingy with the access you have or that you give to people, you know? Um. See, speaking of appreciation, my little cousin just texted me. She just had a baby and she just said, she thanked me for the clothes that I passed down to her baby and that she really appreciated. Like, it just be little stuff like, I don't know. It's just, I don't even want to go on a, on a rant about it because it's whatever at this point. I, I pretty much made up my mind about it. And it's just, it's really difficult to do, but it's like, I deserve the best of the best. Whether that's friendships, relationships, uh relationships with family members i deserve to be treated the best of the best because i don't do anybody wrong i don't like i'm not spiteful i'm not hateful towards anybody not not one person can say that i've done wrong by them I'm not saying that i'm a perfect person but like as far as like just treating people bad i don't do that i don't do that therefore i deserve the best of the best i know what i deserve you know what i'm saying so it's just like 
I'm gonna get that. Like, I'm not settling for anything or anybody. So yeah, but anyways, that really, me just thinking about it, like, that's what really got me like in a bad mood or whatever. I'm not in a bad mood, I'm just kind of like irritated. And work is making it 10 times worse because they on some bullshit stay. <sighs> but it's like, it's that weather. It's all cloudy and gloomy. So it's like, it's just got me all over the place, but I'm gonna be all right. So yeah, I'm just about to work, I guess. I don't know. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all, the devil don't want me to be fine because why well, I got two left shoes? Me and my mama got this same pair of shoes, these, these running shoes, whatever they call, like some Air Max shoes. <sighs> why do I have two left shoes? But you know what? We're gonna walk in the Crocs today. I'm going to the gym and I'm going to walk on this treadmill for 30 minutes in these Crocs. Because I said I'm going to do it, so I'm going to do it. You could walk in Crocs. I've been seeing people in the gym with like Converse and shit on. So I could walk this 30 minutes just today. So I'm going to bring my shoe, which you bring my son. And we're going to get this 30 minute walk in. So let's go. All that night I rhyme in your bitch, your bitch. Pop the car, then we start rhyming your bitch, your bitch. The your only bitch. thing we had to free our mind, free our mind. Free then freeze that verse when we see dollar sign. I could blame it on the physical. I could blame it on your lips, your touch, your kiss. You know, real traditional. But your love's too original You were anything but conventional Baby, did you know that From the moment we fell in And knew we couldn't fall back Knew I'd always crawl back mm -hmm. Cause baby, it's the everything for me Everything for me, for me, oh, for me. Cause 
y'all. I didn't even get, it's the next day, it's Wednesday. I didn't even get to tell y'all about what happened yesterday, how me and my granny almost got snatched up. My boo gonna get me right or whatever. Play with me if you want to. I'm having foul me next time. Oh, that baby's sick. Go say hi to my blog. You gonna say hi. Why are you doing like that? Thank you, Dad. You put up my TV. Thank you. Perfect though. You get the fingerprint. That's barely clean. You see that? Yeah. I need to go give me some clean. Oh, it's on my uh, toolbox up. Okay. You finna leave me? You finna leave me? I just finna leave me. He no feel good. Mwah. He no feel good. You not finna get me sick, child. Mm. Every time. Too much. Princess treatment, what can I say? But yeah. I'm gonna eat. I'll talk to y'all later. I gotta get back to work too, because child. Try to get me fired. See your remotes. Um, I guess that one, I don't know. I'll get this one. It looks like it'll be able to get me to where I need to be. I seen this um self-care book. It was it's self-care for black men. But I don't think Trey read. I don't I don't think he's fond of like just reading a book. <laughs> So I'm gonna save my money. Let me get out of here. I don't need anything. So let's go. Oh, um, can we talk about why batteries are so expensive? Why are they so expensive? But you know what I came to realize is that this goes to prove to myself that um I don't care. Like I'll spend whatever on people that I love or whatever. I hate having too much money on me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I hate. Oh, wait, what? Um, I'll spend whatever on people that I love, but then like I always like shortchange myself or I be cheap with myself. Prime example is some batteries. I remember one time Trey needed some batteries for like some gun part a laser a flashlight or something he needed a, um a certain type of battery batteries was over like 30 dollars it was like 32 dollars for some batteries or something like that bottom no problem but the batteries in there that i need some triple a batteries for dirt sale was like 11 dollars or something like that i'm gonna see if i got some of that my mama gotta have some batteries somewhere at the house. Something got some batteries in it that I can exchange just for the time being because, baby, I'm not finna buy no $12 battery, $12 batteries for a $10 remote that I'm going to return as soon as I'm finished using it. What sense does that make? Oh yeah, baby, we just gonna have to find some batteries somewhere because I most definitely didn't buy them. I mean, you can't return batteries. I wouldn't return up some batteries. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's, that's literally crazy. So I'll uh, catch up with y'all later. Hey y'all, happy Thursday, or happy whatever day y'all are watching this. Take a bath. You need to take a bath. Yeah, I take a bath. Well, we're just gonna chill. So we'll talk to you later. Then we talk to you later, thing. Then we talk to you later. Boy, you don't know what you're looking at. Say like, come subscribe for the vibes. Say like, come subscribe for the vibes. We're gonna steal your Uncle Stevie slogan. <laughs> like, come subscribe for the vibes. Ugh, that's annoying. Bye, y'all.
rise, tell my hoes I'm off the rip. He ain't got that bag to put no carrots in the air. But a real trap nigga, she done fell in love with a real beef with you. G6 to 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 G6 to
whatever. But the one that I want is like 2500 and I still haven't convinced myself to spend that much yet. So yeah, so right now I'm about to order me some Starbucks because I need it. Period. 8.45? Jesus. This is wild. I'm not getting no damn breakfast sandwich. My order gonna be $30. Let's see what the damage is. <laughs> Okay. Submitting order. So yeah, I'm about to just edit. I'm about to clean up and then edit. I'm gonna lay him down. My sneaky butt. He knocked out, child. My uncle Quincy got him that, and that is a lifesaver. So, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And I will see y'all in the next vloggy vlog. Bye. Love y'all.